man ever convince women that beach volleyball was a real sport? <laughs> All right, ladies, here are the rules. First off, you're going to want to put on the tiniest bikini you can find. Well, I guess you could wear a t-shirt, but you want to win, don't you? <laughs> yeah, just put it on and then just jump up and down as much as possible. Occasionally do one of these. Three, really mash the old Rubens together as much as you can. No, it's totally a sport. It's an Olympic sport. The ancient Greeks invented it during their brief dalliance with heterosexuality. I like cats. Anybody like cats out there? Three people? Awesome. We'll go load them up later. No more pussies. Um, I love cats. And growing up, I totally, I was allergic to cats. So that's why I love them, because you love what you can't have. Like CJ and Coke, you know what I'm saying? And uh, Good Times, Spiral. Yes, it's good. Um, so growing up, uh, I would be loving my cat. And my mom would be like, stop it. I can hear you wheezing upstairs. Because this would be me, like, downstairs. I love you. <laughs> I, uh, I like to drink, one thing about this old cuss. I like to uh, drink a lot. And uh, I said, have you ever woken up, uh, this happened to me, I, I woke up Sunday morning, uh, I had a voicemail from an ex-girlfriend, which said, Brendan, it's Katie. You have to stop sending me text messages at four in the morning, because I have a boyfriend and he's really jealous. So then I immediately went to my phone and looked through it. The text message I sent her at four in the morning, one word, all capital letters, America. <laughs> That's science fact. Prehensile is in a monkey who can grip things with its tail. A dolphin can grip things with its penis. The ultimate tragedy that it was born in the sea. <laughs> and swing from the trees and make a salad. True story, a man in Hawaii lost his arm in a threshing farming accident. And in an experimental procedure, he was allowed to have a dolphin penis grafted where his forearm once was. But of course, the dolphin whose penis was used for the operation was a murderer. <laughs> so, tragically, every night he went to sleep, had a fever dream, woke up, dead porpoise prostitute next to <laughs> I love androgynous people. Who loves androgyny here? I think it's really, really sexy, and I figured out why. Um, it's because in second grade, I watched The Labyrinth. <laughs> yes. It's a very sexy movie for kids. I was watching YouTube clips and I was getting really turned on and it's so weird to get turned on and also think like that's really impressive puppetry. <laughs> so I saw that movie when I was in second grade. In the fourth grade I had a sex dream about David Bowie. My first sex dream. And it wasn't a sex dream, it was an after sex dream. In the dream, in the dream, my dream self is a fourth grader still. In my parents' house, I wake up, David Bowie is laying next to me. He says, Hello, love. What do you want to do about breakfast? <laughs> I freak out. I'm like, how am I going to sneak David Bowie past my parents? <laughs> and I'm also like, I've lost a lot of respect for David Bowie having sex with fourth grade. <laughs> Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome once again to the Regal Ballroom here at the lovely Radisson Hotel in beautiful Clearwater, Florida. How we doing this evening? Give it up for your band working hard for you tonight. Night moves, guys. I want to tell you something. I've been in this business a long time. One thing you can't say about me is I blow smoke, and if you close your eyes, you'd swear to God it was Bob Seger and his silver bullet band. Am I right? <laughs> Ladies, we didn't forget about you. The bachelor auction's coming up. Good food, good music, good times, and if we raise a little money for feline leukemia, all the better. Am I right? Those cats are so brave. Those cats are so goddamn brave. I'm also a songwriter. I write songs for the sensitive men. Created a whole new genre of rap music. Uh, would you like to hear it? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Uh, well, if you folks could uh, clap your hands in a hip hop manner. <laughs> Start them off. You know what you're doing. Yeah. Clap. 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 <laughs> Tighten it up, please. Come on. Here we go. Here we go. Well, I'm on C. Snuggles, and I'm here to say I love cuddling and hearing about your day. <laughs> well, you all relax, baby. Now that's all right. Just sit back, cause Snuggles is cooking tonight. Yeah. And you don't gotta worry about those dishes. How about a foot rub, bitch? Another really exciting thing is there's a girl in the audience uh, named Becky Steinman. She's whoa, been a whoa. huge, huge boner for this.
Nate, what are you doing? <laughs> Nate, 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 Nate thinks Steve's a cool guy. Nate, how did you even know I like Becky Steinman? I, I observed in your diorama. What are you doing observing my diorama, Nate? My diorama is personal, man. That's where I keep all my personal thoughts. <laughs> yeah, well, you leave them all in the apartment. There's like shoe boxes everywhere. You're not allowed to see it. Okay? So not cool. I'm gonna look. Not this cool. Is good. This is good because now that I know you like her, I will help you get her. How? I will be your wingman. You're gonna, you're gonna be my wingman. Yes. Okay, fine, what's your plan? I will just get me, you, and Becky in a room, just the three of us, and like, I'll be all mean and aggressive towards her and be like, you better fess up to the crime, you're going away from life. And you'll be, all, you'll be all calm and cool and be like, no, it's cool, we're friends, and you'll give her some coffee, then I'll throw the coffee in her face and be like, tell me where the jewels are! Tell me where the jewels are! And she's as good as yours. <laughs> Just like that. Nate, that's not being a wingman. That's good cop, bad cop. I don't want to play good cop, bad cop with a girl fine, I like. Fine, Mr. Picky. Fine. How about, uh, how about point B? How about you challenge Becky and a friend to a game of two-on-two -two basketball? I show up to the court dressed all like nerdy and everything. Okay, tell her, tell her she gets to pick who's on your team. Or she'll see me with like like glasses and, and like a collared shirt. Like you're wearing right now. Similar, but. <laughs> and then she'll think I'm bad at basketball. Put me on your team. Turns out I'm good. I'd slam dunk all over the place. Dunk all over. I'm slam dunks, Nike dunks, and uh, we beat her and her friends. We take all their money, and she belongs to you. I have an older brother, we were, we never went, and there was like a, a checkout person, and there was going to be change back. Instead of holding this out, we like to hold this out. <laughs> I suggest this next time, you're just like, uh, okay, your, uh, your change is $1.16? Perfect. <laughs> Deal with that. <laughs> you can also get uh, communion that way, too. I'm not Catholic, but I know that they, like, they give you bread, and they can either give it right in your, your or the body of Christ, sorry. <laughs> and they can either put it in your mouth, or they'll put it in your hand. I just hold that out. <laughs> Shove it in there, Father. <laughs> When the, when, the, when, the, when the priest is right here, look him in the eye and go, which one's you? <laughs> I also used to work at Urban Outfitters. You guys have been to that hip store? It's, a, it's an expensive store, and uh, I, I love the place. It's very hip, but they had these uh, free gum they were giving to people, and um, it, was, it was free. And I would go, hey, do you want some gum? And people would be like, is it free? Motherfucker, you just bought two shirts for 150 bucks, really? Like, how much could that fucking free gum be? I don't, I don't deal with change, I just have hundreds. First of all, if you take care of yourself, if you like what you see in the mirror, fuck you. <laughs> get out of my city. You don't, you don't belong in a place where you can get gyro meat on a burger. Take that jogging nonsense to California where it's welcome. <laughs> you know, you know, I found this out. You, get, you can drink too much. You guys know that? <laughs> and a police blotter I read about me the next day. Yeah, you, I, you, I always wake up after that day of like drinking too much and they make that same bullshit promise. Yeah, we all make it, right? We all make that same promise that we break by noon, right? You know, you wake up. Everybody say it with me. You wake up and like. I am never going to figure out how I got all these random bruises all over my body, mostly on my leg somehow, going to my eyeball. How, everybody, everybody say with me, how I woke up in the back of a flatbed driving me to a guy in a mailman uniform, going southbound Alabama, wearing nothing but the socks on my hands. <laughs> I got so drunk recently, my buddies messed with me. I, I passed out so many forehead on my dick. <laughs>